Okay, a friend of ours has let us borrow his DX8 and his Stingray to show you the basic setup for a DX8. The place to start on the setup for the DX8. Let's turn on the transmitter. In your basic menus. Servo setup. Throttle is 150%. Aileron 100, elevator 100, rudder 100, gear has it 100, pitch at 150, everything else left at default. So it's really just throttle and pitch that you change from default. He has them both run up to 100. Let's go to your dual rate and expos. He's got aileron at 80 on the dual rate and 20 on the expo. We tend to recommend dual rate at 75 and no expo, but you can do what you want to get the feel you want. Elevator, he's got the same, dual rate at 80, expo 20. Again, we recommend about 75 and, and no expo, but pick, pick what you like to use. It's elevator, rudder, he's got about 94% dual rate, which we tend to recommend about 100, but 94 is fine too. Okay, that's it on the dual rates and expos. Throttle cut, he just has it turned all the way down all the way down to minus 30. For your throttle cut. For your throttle curve. He's got 30% at low stick. At half stick he's got 67% throttle. That's again to get the light to come on on the high end on the throttle. 67. So it's 30 on the low up from 30 straight up to 67 is 67 straight across. Now on the stunt one, he's got just straight 70%. Now we recommend just doing straight 67, which is the same as the normal mode, but he's turned it up to 70 just to get a little more RPM in a stunt mode, which is fine. Stunt mode two, he has the same. Pitch curve, he's got low 51%, straight across. We tend to recommend a 52, but 51's fine. You just do it until the light comes on in the setup. So he's got 50, at low stick he's at 51, as he goes up to half stick he's still at 51, and then full stick he's at 100. On stunt 1 he's straight 0 to 100, just straight curve. Stunt 2 should be the same. Gyro he has inactive, yeah, inhibited. Governor you don't need, tail curve you don't need, mixing, no mixing, nothing. You can set a timer if you want to set a timer. Um, monitor, you know, anything else, and that's it. And that's really all you need to set up in the DX8. Okay, now that we've looked at the transmitter, we can look at the basic layout in the model. Note, on his layout, he put the receiver on the opposite side of the TG Multi than we tend to recommend. We normally have the receiver on this, this side close to the ESC. It's perfectly fine to have the receiver on this side. Uh, we tend to recommend receiver on this side just because it gives you more room for battery and any equipment here, but it works perfectly fine with the receiver on this side. He's also got all the wires well bundled up, held tight together. Uh, he's got the ESC wire run out, run out separately. He's got all the servo wires running up underneath the boom. That's just good at reducing any kind of radio noise. He's got his antennas out and open so they can work properly. They're not bundled up and tight. They're out, out nice and open. He also has the satellite, which is the extra antenna for this receiver, up underneath the plate. Uh, so it gets good signal from the bottom of the model, so there's no interference there. It's also isolated from your ESC and your battery wires. So you should have really no radio problems at all with this model, uh, even at distance. Um, so now we can look at the actual uh, plug-ins for this receiver. Okay, I've removed all the wiring that he had set up on his DX8 with his receiver and his TG Multi so I can sh go step by step through how it's plugged in. What we'll start with is plugging in your ESC and your BEC. Your ESC is going to go into port 2. Next thing you're going to do is hook your connection between your receiver, in this case you're using an AR6210X. Uh, you hook your receiver to your TG Multi. Now if the receiver is on this side, you would hook to port 1 for your power. But since he has a receiver on this side, I'm going to use port 7 because it's the one closest. And in this case, he was using his bind plug, bind data plug for power. Plug into there. Once this is plugged in, you want to plug in your uh, connection to your receiver channels. So to use an external receiver, plug your four, four pin plug into C. The top wire, which is the yellow one, that goes to throttle. 
plug in throttle, signal wire on the receiver goes up. Throttle. Your next wire, which is a different shade of yellow, is aileron. Next wire, which is red, is elevator. Your next wire, which is brown, is your rudder. Now you get your other four pin plug. Plug that into D on the TG Multi. And then you start with this bottom wire, which is brown. You're going to plug that into gear. And your next wire is the red one. That's going to go into your aux channel, aux 1. Now in this case, you're out of channels on this receiver, so these other two, you just don't need to plug in anything. That's your aux 2 and your aux 3, and you don't really need them, and they're just extras in case your receiver had them. You could use them. In this case, you don't use them. You just leave them out. Next, you're going to plug into your ports for your rotors. You have port 3, 4, 5, and 6. Port 3 is your... Port 3 is your front left, port 4 is your back left, port 5 is your back right, port 6 is your front right. So for port 3, you're going to pick your uh, plug for your front left rotor, plug it into port 3. Port 4, you want your back, back left rotor, pick that servo. Port five, is your, port 5 is your back right. Port 6 is your front right. In this case, he's already bundled all the wires, so the wires are a bit tight from the way they would normally be when you first set this up. There, you have all your plugs plugged in. You have an external receiver plugged in. You have all your rotor servos plugged in. You have your ESC plugged in, and then you have your power uh, through port 7 plugged in to your receiver. Then you need to wrap your wires, keeping your ESC wires separate. Wrap your wires back down, bundle them tight, close any loops, and then wrap your wires around it for final bundling. Okay, that's the basics of your DX8 setup, including the settings in the radio and your wiring setup. For the rest of the setup for the Stingray, please see our videos on the YouTube channel.